Welcome to Silver Linings, your resource for silver, gray, and white wig reviews. Okay, so to get started, you're going to need a flexible measuring tape, and you're going to need some pen and paper to write down your measurements. And I'm going to drop a couple of links below for you. One of the videos that I watched in terms of how to measure is from Jean Renault, and the other one is from Patty's Pearls. I found the one from Patty's Pearls to be a little bit easier to follow, but my strong advice is to have someone, uh, a friend, your husband, anyone, um, help you to do this because it can be a little cumbersome to hold the tape and make sure you've got it in the right spot. But I think that you can get a, a pretty good idea, even all by yourself, of, of what your size is. Now, if you don't have a measuring tape, a flexible one, just use a piece of string and then, you know, mark it after, after you're done measuring. And then just take the string and hold it up next to a flat ruler, right? And that'll that'll take care of that issue. So without further ado, let me get this measurement done. Okay, so we're going to measure along with Patty from Patty's Pearls. We're going to do it along with her because I think it's a good tutorial. Make sure you've got the side of the tape that starts with number one. numbered on both sides. Okay, here we go. I'm going to show you with the bald head, and again, you need a tape measure. This is the one from my sewing kit, just a little old tape measure. Find the number one, put your hand on that, and we're going to do three measurements. The first one is her circumference. That's what's around her head. So you stretch out the tape, put it in the back, put it on top of your ears where the wig never covers your ears and then you kind of rotate it around and you hit it to your hairline. Now the hairline can vary. You're probably sitting there going, duh. Here's the secret. If you've lost your hairline and you don't know where it is, it's four fingers. One, two, three, four from your brow bone. It's not so easy. So that's where you're going to start your measurement. It's easier to have somebody else do it. Round in the back, slip it through, put the tape on the top, find your metal piece, and there. And that pinch it. 22 and, and a that's half. That's how you find your measurement for circumference. Now we're going to do the top of the head. From 22 ear and to a ear. half. And these three measurements will help us in customizing your wig. So you get the one again with your little tip. Now here's a little secret, and you, you really must pay attention to this. Put your finger on top of, or have a friend that's going to measure you. Put your finger on top of your ear. Then take your little tape measure and slip it just a little bit under the ear. The reason we do that is I don't want the wig to be on your ear top and hurting you in this area. See, your ear's always free, but I don't want it rubbing. So you have the finger there. We go across the top to the other side. Sorry, Lorraine, I'm turning you like a mummy here. And you stick for 11. Pinch, and there's your measurement. One more measurement to do. And that's from your hairline again. So we go one, two, three, four, Stick the tape in. Just above the ear, she said. Okay, so that's... She wants you to pinch it, but it's hard to pinch it and hold it at the same time. So I'm just going to basically look where it is. It's about 11 and a half. And then finally, the last one. In. This time we're going to go across the top of the head and back to that indentation and that's your occipital bone. Turn precious and we can show. See right there where it goes indent indenting, that's where I want you to pinch the tape. Reason for that. All, there's a reason for all of this. When you have your wig and it's pulled down too low, and when you first get it you probably want to tie it on, but if it's too low in the back, then the minute that you move your head, 
See how I'm moving my head? The wig doesn't go anywhere, precious, because it fits you. So that's why we need that measurement. And that's it for today. We have a great day. Okay, well, they say it's easy, but I'm, I'm finding that it's really not that easy. <laughs> Maybe I'm making more of it than it is, but four fingers, so I have to go just above my widow's peak. If I had more hair, that would be a very pronounced widow's peak. Okay, so I'm going to hold it there. Bring it down across the back. I had to pull my ponytail out because it was bumping into the tape measure. Bring it back. There's my occipital bone. And again, I have to just kind of trust where my hand is where the tip of my finger is, and that looks like 13. So, the largest measurement was 22 to 22 and a half. Okay. So, according to the chart here, I am an average to large, which is consistent with what I've been finding when I purchase wigs. The petite ones, they they don't fit me at all. And even some of the, quote, average are tight on me. So average to large. And I'm going to go with that, with the largest measurement. Take the time to measure for your wigs. It's going to save you so much, so much trouble. You're going to know pretty much that you're getting the right, the right size. And as you go along and you get more experience, you're going to know which brands run large, which brands run small. For instance, Noriko on me uh, runs, runs small and it always feels really tight on me. Um, whereas Beltress, uh, Beltress is very, very comfortable for me. Henry Margot is very comfortable for me. So that's basically it for today. If you have any comments or if you have any tips, I, I would love to hear them. But after a while, you'll, you really will get to know. But like I said, I did not measure when I first purchased my wigs and I could have saved myself a lot of, a lot of heartache. I will say, and you could see that I was having some challenges, get a friend to help you with the measurements. Um, don't pull your hair back if you've got hair because then you're gonna have that big bump Although maybe you could pull it to the side. I, I suppose I could have done I could have done that. Yeah. You so yeah, it looks like uh, my final measurement from front to back is between 13, 13 and a half, 14. I know from this chart here that I am definitely an average to large. And uh, let me know in the comments if you've measured and if you have any wonderful tips that you'd like to share. I know this has been kind of eye-opening for me to see two different people, uh, Patty at Patty's Pearl and then the gal from Jean Renault, how they measured. But I think you really want to be accurate because you're going to get a much better fit and you're not going to end up sending, sending your wigs back. So I hope this has helped you. If you like, give it a like, hit the little bell icon and subscribe so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. Look for the silver linings, everybody. They're always there. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.